When I first started playing cricket, wearing a helmet was virtually non-existent. Bibbs after him. Down the wicket he comes and whack. But like most aspects of the game, this has thankfully changed. 25% of all cricket injuries are to the head, neck and face, mainly being concussions, contusions and lacerations. An injury to the face by a cricket ball is one of the most common types of hospital treated injuries. So if you thought cricket wasn't a dangerous sport, think again. Oh, he's it. In order to best prevent serious head injuries, it's important to follow a couple of pieces of advice. Only buy a helmet that has met relevant safety standards. There are many that don't. And you need to be confident your helmet has been tested to perform as it's supposed to. All Albion helmets exceed these standards. Buy a properly fitted helmet. In doing so, you need to first measure your head and determine the correct helmet size. Albion helmet tape measures can be found at your local cricket retailer. Then using the padding provided, adjust the internal size further to ensure a snug fit. Wearing your helmet properly will mean the front of the helmet should be about 2.5 centimetres above your eyebrow, and the chin strap helps hold the helmet in place. It's extremely unwise to borrow a cricket helmet from others or lend yours to someone else, as the internal padding may reshape with body heat, leaving you not as well protected. Replace your helmet or face guard when you've been hit by a ball, dropped or damaged in any way. Helmets are designed to work once, and although the helmet might not appear damaged, it more than likely is internally, meaning it won't work as well the next time. So remember these tips when you're looking to purchase a helmet, and keep in mind the possible outcomes if not properly followed.